What common mistake with numbers must you avoid if you want to keep from losing your audience in the middle of your presentation? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. A couple of weeks ago, I attended an all-day workshop, and I was listening to a presenter talking about referral marketing. He had some really good ideas. Right in the middle of his presentation, he dropped this little nugget of, of information. In 2018, 76% of our top clients, 22 in all, generated 68% of our revenue increase. What do you think happened right after he said that? Well, if you guessed, I got lost in the numbers, you're absolutely right. I sat there and I thought, 76%, 22, 68%, okay. I started to do the math. Now, mind you, I'm pretty good with numbers. I was blessed with a calculator in my head when it comes to basic numbers and math. I got lost. By the time I got done doing the calculations, the speaker had gone on to another point. I missed probably one or two minutes of what he said. Was it important? I don't know. The lesson to take from this is never make your audience do math. Most people don't like it. Those of us who do still don't want to do it in the middle of your presentation. Make it simple. I'm almost positive I know why this presenter gave us those numbers. He wanted to be authentic. He wanted us to know that he had done the work and that he wasn't just making the numbers up. That's admirable. But there's another way he could have done it. What he could have and should have said to make it less confusing was something like this. Last year, we saw a 68% increase in revenue, and it came from our top clients. That's it. I know in previous tips, I've talked about the importance of specificity. Well, you don't want to be so specific with all your numbers. What I need to know as an audience member is that by using referral marketing, I could have an, a 68% increase in revenue. If I want more details, I'll talk to the speaker afterwards. A question might come up during a Q&A session. He can get deeper into the numbers there. But for the big overview, just give us one specific number. Don't make us do the math. Never make your audience do calculations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, none of that. Don't make them do the work because if you do, you're going to lose them and you may not get them back. <music>